Hey guys, Logan Hall, you're back at again with another video. So today I'll be showing you how to boot your Nintendo Switch to its payloader and boot the payloader and everything without using an RCM jig. So usually whenever you fully turn off your console or sometimes when you reboot your console, you would always have to take the Joy-Con off, then you have to put the RCM jig on. And that thing is still a better method in general. But if you ever go anywhere and stuff or you don't want to, then sometimes you don't want to use the RCMJ because I always find it inconvenient. So another method is to use the auto RCM mode, which I'll be showing you how to do. So whenever you turn off your console fully, it will always go back to the RCM thing just by injecting the payload without the RCM jig. So keep in mind, if you do have auto RCM mode, whenever your switch is fully turned off, it can not turn on unless you inject the payload. But if you just use this method, like the standard way, you can boot up to normal Switch OS without any hacked software. But if you are in auto RCM mode, once your switch is off, it's off until you inject a payload. So that's one thing I've noticed. So your switch won't be bricked if that's what you think when it first happens. So let me turn the switch on real quick. And there we go. So let me show you how to do this thing. So what you need to do is you need to go to your album real quick. And you want to look for an app called Reboot to Payloader. This thing takes you back to your heckity menu. So here is my Reboot to Payloader. When you're here, you want to click the minus button. And here you go. So on here, I need you to pay attention to this part. Because this part is the part where you either mess it up or you do good on it. So first you want to go in your options and make sure your options are the same as mine. You want to make sure auto boot is turned off. Second, make sure your console info looks the same as mine. Or roughly similar. If it's the same, then that's pretty good. Then you want to go into tools, and then you want to go to arc bit RCM touch PKG one slash two. Once you click it, you'll see an option where it says auto RCM. So let me turn this off real quick. As you can see now, I have to use an RCM jig. But if I have auto RCM mode, I can click it. Now I don't need to do it. So you don't even need to press the power and the volume. All you need to do is press power now. So let me show you this thing. So if we go home, let's go back to a payload and fuzzy it up. Now I'm gonna show you how this thing works. So let me get my laptop right here. And let me drag this thing to the corner so you guys can see it. While the switch boots up, let's drag this thing here. So I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. And let me lower the brightness so you can see this thing better. So here's my switch right here. So let me launch this thing real quick. And first let me show you this thing. So when the switch is turned off so let's hold the power button let's go power options and you turn off and here's my usb-c cable which i'll be using for this and in another video i'll show you how to do the payload from your phone which will make it 10 times easier so we're gonna connect the cable here and before i turn it on i'll show you this thing the switch i'm holding the power button like see you can even hear the click so nothing's happening at all so some people might think the switch is bricked, but it's not bricked at all. So yeah, but don't worry because it's on auto RCM thing. So let me get my RCM jig. It's probably somewhere behind here. Here it is. So I'll show you the RCM jig is here. So you guys don't think anything's happening here, as you can see. And I'll also show you the right side of the Joy-Con. Some, some people think it's a tinfoil method where you put a little bit of tinfoil right here and it can do it. As you can see, the Joy-Con is clear. Same with the rail. So this to show you that it's just not fake or anything. Put the Joy-Con back on. As you can see, I'll try turning it on once again and it won't turn on because you need this auto RCM thing. So once you have your cable plugged in here, you want to plug it into your switch. And then I think automatically it should go to no RCM and then it should be RCM okay but without even pressing the power button. Once you do that, you want to click inject payload. So once you're here, there you go. You're back to the any menu without using your RCM trick. This thing is very convenient because if you do not have an RCM trick and you use someone else's RCM trick for first doing it, or you just made your own and you lost or something, it's still a better way to do it. So that's basically how to boot into your switch and inject your payload without using an RCM trick. There'll be a video coming soon where you can use your Android phone which I have right here. This is just an Android phone I use just to show stuff for my PC. That's really it. But I'll be showing you how to use this and inject a payload off the Switch. So yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching and yeah.